morning prayer on the 16th of April. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. We shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt, and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. <coughs> Christ once raised from the dead dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he dies to sin once for all. In living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as death to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 114 when Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people to a, of a strange tongue. Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea saw that and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you were driven back? You mountains that you skip like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the hard rock into a pool of water, the flintstone into a springing well. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. letter to Corinthians. Otherwise, what will those people do who receive baptism on behalf of the dead? If the dead are not raised at all, why are people baptised on their behalf? And why are we putting ourselves in danger every hour? I die every day. That is a certain, brothers and sisters, as my boastings of you, a boast that I make in Christ Jesus our Lord. If with merely human hopes I fought with animals at Ephesus, what would I have gained by it if the dead are not raised? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Come to a sober and right mind and sin no more. For some people have no knowledge of God. I say this to your shame. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. 
Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. We pray for this day, the things we do, the people we have conversations with, the tasks we complete. May we do it with your love in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those families separated through isolation, where contact cannot be made. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for our Diocese of Chichester with a new initiative to have telephone calls available to clergy and lay ministers. May those who need to hear the word of God hear the good news in these, in these difficult times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are lonely at this time. May friends and family contact them and give them the encouragement to go through these hard times and to be connected to our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.